All right, this is the U15 versus uh, Liberty versus Chuckanut. Missed the kickoff, but only missed about a minute of the game so far. So here we go. Looks like Chuckanut's got the ball. As long as I'm still getting myself set up.
Sideways gives the defense a chance to close the distance and begin tackling. The referee's arm is out, indicating that there was a knock on in the tackle. Scrub down, Liberty Bell. Field brings the ball back into the defense. And the spilt ball is gathered up and passed out. Chuck it up ball. Stepping inside between the two tackles, the man goes to the ground and places it back successfully.
with the wing as the space, and away they go. The recycled ball comes back across the field through the hands. The line speed of the defense puts pressure on their backs, but they manage to step through the tackles. Ten meters out from the goal line, the ball is taken to ground. And the referee indicates that it was knocked on in the tackle, scrum down. Look at the ball. The two packs scrum down 10 meters in from the goal line. Five meters from the sideline. And the pack wheels before the ball comes out through the side and is picked up. The referee blows his whistle and there's a reset. Scrum down. Liberty ball. Wells picked up on the back of Broad short side and goes across the goal line and touches it down. The referee indicates try awarded. Five points for checking it. Conversion kick is straight and strong, but goes underneath the goal. And there's no extra points, and so the score remains five points for checking it. Throwing great balance in the tackle of the ball carrier. The PG is to gobble up yards and somebody's finally taken down. Out of bounds and it's a line out. Liberty ball, 25 meters in from their goal. A nice jump and throw for the throws not down the line. Not straight as a call. And Chuck and chooses a scrum down. Flyaway Kent. Yeah. 
The referee's whistle stops the play. That's safety first when it comes to scrimmaging. And the ball comes out and they quickly take advantage of it. Stephanie McMahon running with ball in hand. But the referee's whistle had already gone. The ball had come out the side of the puddle without having been hooked. Thus, the player's name is the hooker. The man down between the two props and the front row. And the ball's gathered up and carried downfield and across the goal line for another five-pointer for checking it. Bring in the tally to ten points with the conversion to come. ball will fall short of the crossbar so the score remains 10 points checking it Finds the hands of the technical guy and he skips the first tackle and yeah, takes the ball to ground as quickly he cycled to a charging forward. <laughs> and stolen in the tackle by the Liberty man who takes it up the side but loses it forward in the tackle and into the hands of a checking up player. Quickly is recycled into the back hands and across the field. Quick line speed by the Liberty defense. Follows the check and pass, and the knock on results in a scrum down midfield. One of the Liberty men is down, stunned from the tackle.
scrum rack so you can get going. Set up. Continues to play towards the goal line with their big man. And the referee whistles that the tackled man has now released the ball in the tackle. And the penalty results in a penalty kick from Chuckanet. And the penalty kick is not in, off the field. And the Liberty Man brings it up to the ball and the ball is going to pass the field. Finally sets up at the five-year line for the touchdown. Reed, South of the Fonds, Chaos. And the second right man takes advantage of it and tackles the little man to the ground where he results in the referee's arm for a penalty. Holding on to the ball once they were tackled. 
not allowing a man on his feet to have access to the ball. Slowing down the play of ball. Is a penalty. The rule of play and penalty prompts the referee to have a conversation with the team. I advise you that they remember to release the bag in the tackle. Seven and ball. The ball flying outside of the tunnel results in a not straight call by the referee. The Liberty team chooses a scrum down 15 meters in from the mark of the line out. The scrum demands more attention of more of the players at one time, creating more space and is desirable in this situation. The looping out pass goes into the Liberty backs. Go, 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 go. Good Out of bounds, five meters out from the indoor line. It will be a line out, second at mile. but it's a meter apart in the alignment of the lineup. And once again, the wind blows the bell offline, but it is outside the tunnel, and the referee is obliged to blow his whistle and tell it not straight. Come down is the real crest of the captain. Five meters from the goal line, 15 meters from the sideline. Liberty's going to take the field goal, it's out of the way, no field. The ball is tackled without reaching the green line. Here they just sort of blows again. And second out is penalized and has to retreat 10 meters. Liberty sets the penalty play up. And the receiver blows and calls them back to the start must be uh, in a certain fashion. Good right now in the early years and they're always good right. And this results in a change of plan for the cut the Liberty team, pushing the ball from the sideline and bringing it back into their back to space. Using the big lads, Liberty drives off the edges of, of the top of the line. And the referee has assigned a penalty against Tuckanet to Liberty. Good Tuckanet defense holds the Liberty man out of the goal. Five meters out and directly into the post. They still have picks and goes. 
And the referee's arm is up in the third in the play. Penalty against Sekhmet Khan in the left. Hold it in there, hold it in there. There you go. Sekhmet is starting to go. Dawson Kids is right on the line. The Liberty Man took a rebound for a five-pointer, putting the Liberty team on the scoreboard. The score is now Liberty 5, Sekhmet 10. Conversion after the try is pushed from anywhere back from the point in the field that is touched down. the players and ask the captain if he's ready. And there's Dorsa. the teams in our day. Stand down. Check it up there. It's set up by the fellow in the key portion of the stand down.
And the referee stops the wheeling spin and calls for a reset. This line is it's, uh, in line of where it was touched down, and that drop kick would divide. So there's no extras, and the score remains. Liberty 5, Tucker 15. Catch of the kick went sideways and not forward. The referee said to play on. And it's resulted in a 
knock on in the tackle. Scrum down, Liberty Bell. Pieces are unstable, the referee is obliged to blow his whistle and restart. A big serve and the ball comes out on the Liberty side. And he can't seem to find a pair of hands and dribbles in the touch. Rolls over the line out to check it out. The referee stops the clock for just a moment as some of the cluster unwinds itself. Players are replaced. And we're back on the clock. For those of you who are keeping time. We know that the referee today is using the international gallic chronometer, but there the ball is knocked on as it came off the top of the lineup. We will lose it, resulting a scrum down, chucking it down. Exciting to get the ball to the wing with space. And this time the Liberty team does. And there's a penalty in the tackle as the tackler did not release the man who was tackled and allow him to get up and continue to play. So it's brought back for a penalty. The penalty kick is to touch. And it does not find touch, it stays in the field of play, and the check of the team covers the ball, brings it up to the sideline. And the ball comes out of his hands and into a liberty pair where they go over the head. And the referee sees the ball locked on during that rough and tumble play. And we'll bring them back to a scrum down, Liberty Ball. man just at the time when the tackler arrives, resulting in a line-out for Liberty. It's lovely to see how a man running sideways can run the defense right into his support. Line out is 
Nod straight once again. We're checking our team, ask for a scrum down serve, 15. on the sideline, so please come over and support the rugby team by refreshing yourself. The referee's arm is out again, indicating an infraction. He blows the whistle and stops play. Hands in. Penalty against Liberty to second it. Second up changes the forward rush. And the uh, rushing forward gains 30 yards. They should have some space. So it's an easy mark on his kicker plate, and that's a down to another five corner for the team from Bellingham. 20 points to Liberty Side. is up and good, and it brings the score to 22 points for Chakana. Five points for Liberty. Uh, yeah, 
So, yeah, seven more. Yeah. the game, the second of the will seize the game by the throat and runs in try after try and brings another five points of a 29 point tally to make it 34 points with the extra to come. They won't lay down, they want some of their own and work their way towards the goal line. Five meters out, the ball carrier is, is pulled in to touch. So it'll be a check and out line out.
Will not straight line out, results in a scrum down. over the goal line and dots it down for a late five-pointer. Raising Liberty's score to 10 points. To check it at 34. doesn't quite have enough energy for the crossbar, and so the score remains. Liberty can check it at 34. with a burst of energy up the side. He sets the ball back and the platform sets over him. The referee sees that the Chuckadot team didn't respond to the tackle and now not being back 10 at the beginning of the penalty. is taken and it's to touch. It gains the fair amount of ground and brings the Liberty line out to 15 meters out from the truck and everything goal area. to, no, it's a short arm penalty. The referee brings it back for the restart 15 meters in. Free kick for illegal line out. and it's a line out. Liberty Bell. Goes in and 
doesn't find any hands and results in a knock on ball, scrum down, Liberty Bell. Picked up at the back and run around to the edge, and the ball carrier finds his way across the sideline and into touch. Down out, check it up there. Up his hands and into the Liberty props, meat hooks, and the way he goes up the field. There you go, all right. The Liberty second row picks it up and looks for his space and finds it and works his way through tacklers to the goal line and touches it down. Another Stover scores. Five more points for Liberty bringing their score to 15 points now. 34 for checking. The conversion kick doesn't get off the ground this time. And the score remains. Liberty 15. Space there, tucking up team events as the ball well up the field and off of some broken field play. Bringing it back along the side with a dynamic run, the tucking up flanker. Takes the ball to the ground, but the referee's whistle goes. It'll be a strong down. He tuck it up.
He said the Smith man leaves in and out and finds his way across the goal line and whips his way into the post score. He touches it down for a five-pointer, elevating the Covenant score to 39 points. Liberty 15. Purple Red does with the most of the restart, puts the ball through her arms right on the side, and they bring it well back into the Liberty Territory. Recycling the ball. Continuity is what this game is about. The most, more phases you can put together, the more the longer you have possession of the ball. Nice you want the ball to go out of it, but you want the players to run north and south, and here's one the just that. Find his face of the win. He runs past the tackle and into the end zone where the ball is then touched down into the post for another five pointer, bringing the second one to 34. Nobody's 15. The double blast for the referee's whistle that indicates the end of the game and the final score of today's very first match of the Ryan Fields 2013 North Rugby season goes to the Chicken of Bay Stingers who have a score of 34 for the Liberty Patriots 15. Thank you for, to everyone who came out. There are two more games which are to follow. Please stay around and remember there are refreshments on the sideline. So come over and support Youth Rugby. Uh, thanks to our announcers.